So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is merging results from different explorers in Looker. So first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel. Now open the Looker incognito window. Now here enter the details present on the lab instructions. Just follow the way I am doing and click on login. Now here you have to follow one important step I will show you. Wait for a moment. Now the first step is enabling of development mode. Because if you miss this step you won't be able to modify the files for future on this lab. So let's do ahead. Now just enable this toggle of development mode. Let me show you. Click on it and the page will reload itself and you will be see able to see the development mode. So here it is. Now go to task number one and here we have to create a query. So just see we have to just click on explore and under FAA we have to click on flights data set. So you can see here is the flight data set basically we'll create a query and then after that we'll merge it and save to dashboard so you have to just copy the carrier and just paste over here and as you can see here is the carrier so you have to select on flight details as you can see here it's mentioned and then again on the search box you can either type flight num or just copy from here copy carefully and just paste over here and now click on it so these two has been added now scroll down now we have to add ct aircraft origin city make sure to check it out now here multiple cities are there here you have to just click on aircraft origin make sure to cross verify just click on it now we have to add the cancel count measure so it's present again on the flight details just copy it carefully paste over here and just click on it so it has been added now we have to create a filter that is air filter and it is present in arrival date so make sure to check it out so copy carefully and we have to make a filter copy carefully and scroll down and you can see it's mentioned arrival date so you have to follow that As you can see at the bottom here is a it just click on this button a filter has been created now we have to select is in the year you can see here is it here it is now here update the year and the year is 2000 so you need to update it 2000 now it's done now we have to just run it so let's run it now it will take some time so wait for it so after that we'll be merging the result and then we will be saving it to dashboard so these are the steps which we have to complete and if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe it and like the video now let's see the looker again these many steps of the task number one we have already done now click on this gear icon basically settings icon click on merge results and wait for it so we have worked on the flight data set now here on the new looker we have to use airport data set let's cross verify from lab as you can see here it's mentioned airport so just click on airport and it will reload itself now here we have to select city and average elevation so these two things we have to select and after that we'll be merging it so just from the search box type city select it and now average elevation you can type it or just paste here so it's only one on the airport section just click on it and now run it so once it gets run and the results are populated we have to click on save so just click on save 
and now basically we have to save the merge results so here i will sh share you how you may make a error so even you will copy this and right click i mean save to dashboard and here by mistake if you add a dashboard name differently this is the look name dashboard name is present at below that is airport data so you can just type the look here and for new dashboard just copy the name from here this only for the people who may make mistake so just copy it carefully and as you can see here is some issue so again copy carefully now new dashboard paste it and ok and then save after that select it and just click on save now after that we'll hit check my progress and see whether we get full score or not so as you can see we are trying to get the score so finally we got the score and that's the way we have to complete this lab so finally we are done this the lab guys if you need any other lab do check the playlist and skill badges too i have shared in the description too so thank you guys have a great day ahead you can refresh the browser if you are unable to see the score so these labs are already present on the playlist you can check it out thank you once again and